Ed Simpson, Sherman TV, and I'm joined by Jesse Deborah following a 1 0 home defeat to Maidenhead United. Jesse, thoughts on the game today? Not good enough, um, especially first half. It was a shambles, really, if we're being honest. Um, they were beating us the second balls, first balls. Um, it was really flat. Uh, we didn't really create that many chances. Um, and it's not good enough. Obviously, the fans travel a long way or traveling, you know, spend their hard earned money to come watch us play. and. It's the same story every week, and we need to be better. We do need to be better as a team. We need to be, we need to be more on the front foot. We need to create more chances, score more goals, not concede silly goals because we see them silly goals every week, and it's not good enough, honestly. Um, I can understand the frustration. Yeah, and like you said about not creating enough chances, was the lack of creating chances to their meaning? It, it, you know, thwarted any chance of a of a comeback, a win, or a draw to their. Um, I feel like. When we do go behind, because we have come behind quite a lot in, like, this season, we do have sustained pressure, especially in the second half, with, where we do look that we could half score a goal, especially today as well. Um, but we're not really creating clear-cut chances. We're not using that pressure as well as we can. And obviously, that's up to us. And it's obviously not good enough, and we have to find the answers. Also, then we ask um, the fans to stick behind us, to stick behind the gaffer, because obviously I understand the frustration. It's not good, it's not where we were last season. Ultimately, I understand how frustrating it can be, but we can only stick together and keep going and salvage the season. Yeah, and sort of how it has been recently with the first half performances and the second half performances, going to go down again in the first half, you know, why do you think that is and, and what do you think we can put right to, you know, to, to stop that happening? Um, I think we need to cut out the individual mistakes. It feels like it's either an individual mistake or a set piece and then we're on the back foot. Um, and ultimately, it's not good enough. Goals are hard for us to score anyway. And to go one nil down, we're just giving ourselves a mountain to climb. So we need to stop the stupid mistakes, get back to getting clean sheets, and then go in from there and try and win games, score goals. In the first half of the season, especially around November and December time, our home form you know, was key to, to getting results and, and climbing the league. Obviously, in the new year, that hasn't clicked yet. Um, you know, how important is it to, to put that right? 100% oh, it is, because as you can see, our away form is even worse. So we do need the fans, we do need the home pitch, you know. That's where we get most of our points from. And it's ultimately up to us to find answers, you know. We, we came into this week with three home games in a row, looking very positive at picking up maximum points. But um, ultimately, we haven't. We're nowhere near even getting maximum points, and it's not good enough. And going into this home game on Tuesday, Obviously, we need support and stuff, but we need to be better. We'll stand at home on Tuesday, another home game. First thoughts going into that one? Yeah, we're trying to just put it right, put it right. Not just today, but sorry, oh, we should have won that game. We we have to win that game. Um, we need to put right the you know the the rut we're in because ultimately we are in a rut and it's not good enough. It's really poor. It's really really poor, and we need to go into that game not feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, on Monday. The, the gap will set us down, we'll talk, we'll review the game, we'll go through our processes and ultimately we need to stick together as a team, staff, everyone, fans, because we, we need you, we, we need the fans, we need we need all the support we can get, especially in, in times of trouble like this, so yeah. Thanks for your time Jesse. No worries, thank you.